No, I'm not ready. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Happy almost Halloween. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome. Here we are here in the old captain's cabin of the old ghost pirate ship. Arr. Arr. And I'm the old ghost pirate. Arr. <laughs> Where's your rubber mask? <laughs> <laughs> here, just in case you forget. Here, I could show you that. Oh, yes, I am a ghost pirate. <laughs> That's right, yes. Very and good. I, and I am obviously uh, a tuxedo cat. She's the ship's cat. Arr. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to be back here, and I, and I hope you can hear okay. Um, I'm expecting uh, texts from We're expecting Tanya and and, uh, and ta Tanya and uh, We're looking Kat for we're <laughs> looking for feedback, uh, the, the good kind of feedback. Yes, you sound <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, well, we should um, try it out and see. We're going to play you a song about the scariest of all the f the ghost ships. Arr. At the top of the set, we're going right to start with this. Then we're going to go from here. The scariest thing, and then just go <laughs> scarier from that. Arr. This is a song about the Flying Dutchman. Arr. Arr. And uh, and a, and our t little tune that we wrote for it called "On the Rocks," <laughs> which we will <laughs> which indulge in later. Where on, you end so, up? You yeah. know. <laughs> okay. Wish us luck. Ready? Yep. <sighs> Two, three. On a night so wild and dark and cold To the southern of the Cape When from a stiff nor'wester We had just made our escape like an infant in its cradle, every wave was hushed to sleep. And peacefully, we sailed along the bosom of the deep. Then from aloft there comes a shout of horror and of fear, as if our watchman had just spied some sudden danger near. Out across the storming ocean And far upon our lee We saw the Flying Dutchman We saw the Flying Dutchman Come bounding o'er the sea Take in your lofty canvas, lads The watchful captain cried There's for our good ship's company Ill fortune does betide The billows tossing white with foam So dreadful did appear The wind springs up A hurricane Dutchman fast through the hissing spray and driven by the tempest he steers for Table Bay with a fury speed he's borne along the howling blast but he never can cast anchor there for Table Bay he's past he never can Cast anchor there for table bay's path.
pity poor Vanderdecken boys, for terrible is his doom. And the seas around the Cape of Storms shall be his living tomb. Doomed to beat about that Cape forever, night and day. And he tries in vain his oath to keep. He tries in vain his oath to keep. And every crewman stared aghast as the ghost ship bore to sea. All hearts were numb with awe and fear as she passed along our lee. Likewise the helmsman stood entranced, all hands sighed in relief. And with a rending crash and mortal force, our vessel struck a reef with a rending crash and mortal force. Our vessel struck a reef, our vessel struck a reef. Texts have come in, so I'm going to check my phone real quick. Like, I hope that was okay. The trapper sure. says instruments need to be louder, especially the guitar. Strangely enough, really, says trapper. Vocals are good, but need to come up a bit as well. The quality is good, though. Trapper says, oh. "Awesome, okay. thank you, trapper. You're so wonderful." What does Tanya say? Tanya says, "Yay, sounds great." <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tanya. And David okay. and Catherine Carson say, so far, so good. Great looks. Aren't we cute, though? <laughs> All righty. Thanks so much Thank for the you. feedback, you guys. Really appreciate it. That's the kind of feedback we love. Squee. <clears throat> so how y'all been? <laughs> it's That's... been a long time since we've done one of these. It has. Did we do one last year? <clears throat> Well, we did one of these last year, but I mean, it's been a long time since we, we did, did a live streaming. stream, which, yeah. which was like... Months ago. Yeah, back in April or something. We, yeah, we just yeah. kind of took the summer off. And besides, it was so hot, we weren't sure if... Who wants to sit inside the house and... Well, or... Oh. I don't oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we're back. <clears throat> Glad to see you again after this long absence. <laughs> so... Trapper, uh, let us know if this is better levels. Yeah, I've got my, uh, what happens, I have this a little bit farther away from there. So I'm going to see if that guitar is up. Okay. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> close in. We're always afraid about blowing up the whole sound, you know, that it's going to be too loud and distorted. So I'm glad if it sounds like we're not. So good. That's really keep good. Us in, keep us posted. <clears throat> we're going to do a song by Seth Blair because it's really the only time. That we get to play this song. <clears throat> I don't um, see why we shouldn't play it other days, but you know. It just 
seems to go that way. <clears throat> I like at Christmas sometimes. Yeah, good. The skeletons dance at Christmas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it doesn't fit. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We've had fun with this. Um, let's see, what else to say? If you don't know Seth, you should because uh, he he's an awesome. amazing uh, songwriter and cello plucker and, uh, <laughs> and professor of biology, I think, at yeah. the University of Wisconsin. Specializes in the squishies and crunchies, as he so aptly calls them. <laughs> okay. So, all right, we'll give this a try now. Let's see. Um, who knows what might pop up? Yeah. Whoa, anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always true, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, that ah. Whoa, 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 don't your feet move kind of slow? In the pitch black dark and the cold black night Don't your skin feel loose, don't your throat get tight Say, 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 here the ghost might want to play In the nasty shadows there's a horrible sight At the skeleton dance tonight Ho, 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 it's the sound the cold winds blow and you're not really sure if you're all alone With the snap of a twig or the click of a stone Hee, hee, hee Hope the ghouls aren't on a spree For they jump like jackals with a terrible moan When they dance with the skeleton bone And if you feel that something cold is seeking up behind you You won't be a snack for the clickety-clack if you dance Like the skeletons do ah, 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 ah. Up in that tree You're a long dark way from your nice warm bed But you feel like a squeal or a meal instead Ooh, ooh, ooh Now your head's all in a stew Or you may have guessed or have heard it said How the skeleton folks are fed They get a great big cauldron That they fill with awful spices I won't say more than that you implore For they have such hideous vices ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha I danced back to my own room And I pulled up the covers and I shut my eyes tight And I shook in the dark with a horrible fright Roar, roar, roar From behind my closet door For they always keep me awake Till like the way the skeletons dance at night Like this they go Clickety-clack, 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 click Clack, click, click, clickety-clack, click, click, clickety-clack, click, 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 click The ghost might want to play In the nasty shadows There's a horrible sight Of the skeleton dance Back in the cabin again. Whoa. Oh, it's like magic, isn't it? It's like magic. Pass Arr. me a cut list, darling. Arr. I need to do some tuning. Tuning? I know, right? Oh my gosh. It's a sad thing. <clears throat> we realized that uh, yeah. we have 
I don't think we've ever played this song at one of these Halloween concerts, uh, the, the live stream versions, um, either one of the last two that we've done. And it's weird because it's uh, probably the first ghostly sailor song that we ever learned way back when. This is one of the songs that I, I love to do because it gives me a little... Uh, it's like a mini movie in my head. It's hard to explain. It's not so much images so much as the the song just uh, kind of sweeps me away. I've always really loved this piece. And it took a long time to come about because I don't, well, I'm not sure exactly why, but one day we hit on the correct key and the correct instrumentation, and it just sort of burst from us fully formed. It was really pretty neat. That was way back when we lived in Driftwood Key, and little Ranza was only about three years old, and it was a, well, well it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, oh, no, that was a different song. <laughs> See? Yeah. Brain. Brain? What brain? <clears throat> You're thinking like a cat, I guess. Tuna. This is one of many a ghostly sailor songs. We've got a lot of ghostly songs today. Okay. Sorry about all the tuning. It's the change in barometer. I just uh, recently got new strings on my Gertie, which is so wonderful. Oh my gosh. If you play an instrument and all of, after a while you realize you're feeling kind of like, I don't like this anymore, just change your strings. It can really help. The Bay of Biscay. Beautiful song. Ready? <clears throat>
such a pretty song. We're doing that a long time now. Whoop. Okay, you're off already. Okay. <clears throat> so this is kind of a a new song for us. It is a new song. It's, it's like a totally new song. Totally We've new. Never okay. done this ever. Well, like, except for a whole lot of times in rehearsal, and I'm still going, which fiddle do I play that on this? It doesn't count. I know, it doesn't count. No song counts until you have performed it for someone. And I'm going to very quickly check my text, because I see a few things have come oh, in Oh, OK, here. good, good thing. I'll tell you about this. Tanya um, says, nice, subtle adjustment. OK. David says, R-O-F-L. <laughs> Which is I like, hope that's a good thing. I hope that's a good okay, thing, and if not, you. thank you. Anyway, anyway, and thank you, Trapper, for the heart. Thank you, Tanya. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> so this song uh, comes from an old broadside, and we had a, um, a copy of it. I posted the picture, the, the drawing that was with this on the broadside um, of, uh, it's called the, the Sailor and the Ghost. And it's a uh, it's pretty horrendous uh, photo drawing of uh, <laughs> this ghost. Terrifying. This ghost, actually, she looks kind of a lot like Queen Victoria, except she's... Not in a good way. A go yeah, but not, not in the best <laughs> possible way. And she is, like, throttling this uh, sailor. I, but, of course, that's spoilers. I shouldn't be giving this away. Um, but it, it just looked like we had to do something with it. And so we... I, Borrowed the uh, melody from from a song <clears throat> that you'll probably recognize if you know this uh, this genre, um, but it, it seems to fit quite well with it, and it's it's still it's kind of you know still kind of working itself out. It's a working progress. But we wanted to share it with you because hey, it's a new song and those don't come easy. No, and it's scary for us, so it fits the theme on multiple levels. <clears throat> Ready, set. One, two, three, go. Yep. One, two, three, go. <laughs> was a sailor of whom I write Unto the seas he took great delight Two maidens fair he did beguile And those two maidens he had with child Oh, one of them then for public shame Unto some lonesome grove she came And then at length for to end all strife She cut it there, the thread of life She hung herself down from a tree Two men a-hunting her did her see They took a knife and cut her down And on her bosom the note was found This note was written in letters large Don't bury me, I do you charge But on the ground there let me lie That maids take warning as they pass by But it um bum bum Her spirit plagued the sailor so To the seas at last he was forced to go One morning out on the topmast high A ghostly ship she they did spy Down decks, down decks, then this young man goes And to the captain his fear disclosed Oh please good captain stand my defense For I see a spirit a coming hence So up on deck then this captain goes And there he spies this dreadful ghost She says, now captain, come tell me true Does my deceiver sail in your crew? Twas on St. Helens that young man died And in St. Helens his body lies She said, good captain, why say you so When he's cowering down in your hold below? And if you don't bring him up to me A mighty storm you soon shall see Causing both you and your crew to weep And leave you drowning all in the deep <laughs> Down 
down decks, down decks, then this captain goes And brings this young man up to his foe And when she fixed her grim eye on him It set him to tremble in every limb Don't you recall when I was a maid You caused my poor loving heart to bleed Now I'm a spirit, come for thou You bolted once, but I got you now in a rage captain and crew down in the boat they forced him to go and every man that it stand and stare for the boat went down in a flame of fire And as it sank, the ghost rose again, and I she sang this mournful strain. You sailors, all who are left behind, never prove false to young womankind. You sailors, all who are left behind, never prove false to young womankind. Hey, we ended at the same time. That's we started the and <laughs> ended at the same time. That's the, that's the key to knowing. Isn't, isn't that a great story? It's a. Uh... Let us know if you want the lyrics, because I know they go by pretty fast. Even though we were trying really hard to, uh, you know, make them clear and everything. <clears throat> Sailor and the ghost are. Okay. And I love that line: the, the, uh, the, the flame of fire. I just think that's. Awesome. Oh, and that reminds me of a tiny little story from our neighborhood, which could have been horrible and ghastly, but turned out to be just fine. Um, we were watching TV, and we heard some strange sort of thumps, and I thought, oh, thunder. And then I realized, no, that's like an actual note that's happening. What the heck? And I go outside, and there's flames coming flames out. Of a flame flames of, of fire. fire. Yeah. Flames of fire coming out of a house sort of catty corner in back of us. I called 911, which a, lot, a whole lot of people did apparently, because in five minutes there were like a dozen ladders and hooks and firemen and aid units. And but it was kind of creepy hearing somebody scream, "Get out of the house! Get out of the house! It's all fire!" It was really it took us a long time to return to our TV with a sound mind. Luckily, it had been raining, so the trees were relatively wet, and there was no wind. We still don't know what caused the fire. Oddly enough, it didn't make the Seattle newspapers. I don't know. I don't know why. It was news to us. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, this was a request, and um, <coughs> sometimes we get requests, you know, for this, it's like, you know, it's a Halloween show. We'll get a request for like, some sunny, fun song, and it's like, oh, you know, we have, we're trying to keep to, keep to the theme here of, you know, ghostliness and hauntingness and stuff. And uh, and this was from Christina, Christina Voodoo, which Christina guess, Voodoo. Yeah, so you have to take those kind of requests very you know seriously. And she pointed out that this song, <clears throat> technically, it did have a haunting in it, and um, and it's it's just not as you know spooky a haunting as it's a love haunting. It's a, yeah. It's so yes, we love this so song. So we thought. And by God, this qualifies, and we've never done it for a Halloween concert, so good enough for us. So thank you, Christine. And um, <clears throat> this is called Her Bright Smile Haunts Me Still. <laughs> doesn't have the same ring, no, does it? No, it really doesn't. I'm haunted, I'm haunted by a smile. No, that's you know, that's not like the Cheshire Cat. She, she disappeared and only her smile rem remained. You should have been a <clears throat> Cheshire Cat. And so. I could do that. Next year I'll be the Cheshire Cat. I'll be like it. It's been years since last we met. We may never meet again. 
I have struggled to forget But the struggle was in vain For your voice lives on the breeze And your spirit comes at will In the midnight on the seas Your bright smile it haunts me still In the midnight on the seas Your bright smile it haunts me still At the first sweet dawn of light When I gaze upon the deep Your form still greets my sight While the stars their vigil keep And when I close my aching eyes Sweet dreams my senses fill And from sleep when I arise Your bright smile haunts me still And from sleep when I rise Your bright smile It haunts me still I have sailed beneath alien skies I have charted a hazardous path I have seen the storm arise Like a giant in his wrath And every danger I have known That a reckless life can fill Yet her presence has not flown Your bright smile haunts me still Your presence has not flown Your bright smile it haunts me still suggestion Christina <clears throat> oh now something else completely new something else brand new and and I will be playing a, an instrument new to me well I messed around with it a tiny bit before but da, 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 da. never on camera before raw <clears throat> Sure is cramped here in the old captain's cabin. <laughs> yeah, it is. <clears throat> that is for dang sure. Ah, you'd think the skipper would have a better, you know, better cabin here, a little more room on it. Well, this is a different kind of, you know, we're doing the Halloween songs, and so there's, there's constantly things of, like, the dangers involved are monsters and ghosts and spirits and weird creatures <clears throat> and sort of stuff. Um, but this brings a new one to the, to the mix. One of the most dreaded monsters ever to plague a ship at sea. Greed. Insurance oh, fraud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd think that wouldn't be a thing, but apparently, and it still is. Oh my gosh. This is a, a, a poem uh, by... 
a poet named, a Scottish poet named John Joy Bell. Great name. And he uh, wrote this in 1910. And uh, it's... La plus ça change, c'est la, la plus c'est la même chose. Yeah, Terrible what, accent, what she you know said. what I mean. So we're going to do this poem for you, which is called The Ghost Ship. <laughs> There's always a man steals down to the quay when the year's last hour is nigh. A man in a fine fur coat is he, with a gold-rimmed glass to his eye. There's naught can keep him away from the key when the year's last hour is nigh. He stands and peers till he catches sight of the ship he knows right well. And his brow grows wet, and his face turns white and sad as a soul's in hell. Tis strange to be sickened and sad at the sight of a ship one knows right well. But the ship moves on to the tail of the bank And her sails in silence fall And her anchor drops with never a clank And never a bosun's call Oh, there's never a sound from the tail of the bank Till the skipper his song doth bawl We are all drowned men on a foundered ship And who was our owner? Who? A rotten old shell as dry as a well And painted to look like new We sailed away upon Hogmanay of 1873 We sailed away on our last long trip, as somebody wished it to be. And down she went, like a blasted sieve, insured for a fortune too. But we are all drowned men on the foundered ship, and who is her owner? Who? Oh, there's always a ship comes into the Clyde on the grim last night of the year. And the rich old man at the dark quayside is shaky and sick with fear. How long will the ship come into the Clyde on the grim last night? of the year. Spooky, chilling. I just really like I'm that scared. one a lot. <clears throat> we're going to uh, do one song here, uh, one more song, and then we're going to take our little break. Since yeah, look at that. It's already Great been 45 timing, yeah. minutes or so, um, and um, it should just be a five or six minute uh, yeah, break at the most. Well. And uh, hopefully enough time that if you're feeling in a in a outrageously generous mood and wish to make a uh, some sort of a 
a contribution to our grocery <laughs> money pile. That'd be awesome. Mmm, mm, groceries. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be a good time to do that. And uh, but until then, we're going to uh, play this one. Just that we did this last year, and we liked it so much that we thought we'd uh, bring it out again. Just cause. Just cause. Because it's a goth. It's a tale of gothic horror. <laughs> Just chill ran up my spine. I know, and back, probably back down again. Too, I know, if because you wait I, long enough. I probably will, yeah, and I'll have to do a costume change. Just, oh, that's right. Yeah. You probably need one. I do, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so enjoy this, and uh, we'll, we'll be back in just, just a, a, few, a few, minutes. few minutes. Yeah. Says to bury it out of sight But we didn't have a garden We was living in a flat So what was I to do With the body of a cat When a big brown paper bag I spy I stuffed our old dead kitty cat Inside it now I'm off down the street With the body in the bag The body in the bag ta -ra -ra. I went off down the street to have a whiskey meet And carefully laid my dead cat underneath the seat Then I got down on my hands and knees, went halfway through the town When the barman stopped me, says he is your parcel, Mr. Brown I had to thank the silly fool and give him half a crown For bringing me the body in the bag And now I'm off down the street with the body in the bag The body in the bag, ta -ra -ra. I threw it in the river, but the hero of a play, well he jumped in right after, shouting hip 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 hooray, then he crawled out on the bank, and he stood there in a pool, he says I'm feeling rather wet, and also rather cool, I had to take my trousers off, and give them to the fool, for bringing me the body in the bag, and now I'm off down the street, with the body in the bag, the body in the bag, ta ra ra. I crept off down the street, just as quiet as a mouse And carefully laid my burden on the doorstep of a house When the door it was flung open, and a lady dressed in blue said Now do me one, me sir, sir. do you pardon me? Oh, I says, good heavens, no, and I've got something else to do And I skedaddled with the body in the bag And now I'm off down the street with the body in the bag The body in the bag, ta -ra -ra. Garden, feeling very 
grave And with a pick and shovel I commenced to dig a grave But I got an awful shock when a voice behind me said Hey, you're digging my potatoes! You could have struck me dead, ah, oh, but there I was at digging in his cauliflower bed. So I hit him with the body in the bag. And then I ran off down the street with the body in the bag, the body in the bag, ta ra ra. All at once from in the bag there came a plaintiff. Wow. Says, Puss, I'm dead no longer, you needn't bother now. You often heard it said that a cat has got nine lives But I'm a merry tabby, I'm one of Tommy's wives And our families, they usually come in threes or fours or fives But there were seven little bodies in the bag And now I'm off down the street with the bodies in the bag The bodies in the bag, ta ra ra Yes, I'm off down the street with the bodies in the bag The bodies in the bag, ta ra ra Clipper ship Trifina swinging north from the line With the trade wind blowing steady and her flying kites a shine Five and sixty days from Angier with a freight of Fu Chow teas There a sailor man lay dying and the words he spoke were these Many a year I sailed this packet And I've got to like her well And I've not much hope of heaven And I'm not much use for hell But if so be as they'll let me By the great hook block I swear When the old Trafina wants me It's dead as living I'll be there There'll be one more at the halyards There'll be one more on the yard Fisting down from thundering choruses When they're frosted good and hard One more tallying on the forebrace When the waist neck deep in foam One more hand to sweat the topsails up And sheet to gansels home Just off the western islands When he smelt the land he died And they laid aback the main yard And they dropped him overside And then they squared away for England Fully hauling with a will But for all they thought they left him Well he sailed aboard her still And the chaps as was his shipmates Went the way as all chaps go And the folks as was her owners Sold the old ship long ago But whoever owned or sold her And whoever went or came The Trifina's extra hand They sailed aboard her just the same signed no articles and he never drawed no pay and he never scoffed no vittles but by night as well as day though you never know his coming and you never see him go 
He'd be always somewheres handy when it's coming on below. And he'd stand by a wheel and look out, and you'd kind of feel him near, kind of see him and not see him, kind of hear him and not hear. And the funny thing about it was you somehow couldn't swear, though you knew it sure as shooting when the extra hand was there. Well, there'd be one more at the halyards There'd be one more on the yard Fisting down from thundering choruses When they're frosted good and hard One more tallying on the forebrace When they're waist neck deep in foam One more hand to sweat the topsails up And sheet to gansels home Chaps had gone ashore to take their ease And they left the ship as lonely And as quiet as you please Not a blessed soul aboard her But the galley cat and you And then you'd hear a sort of something More than once I've heard it too Like someone up aloft there Puttering round amongst the gear Seizing there another rattlin Putting on a mousing ear And rum tumming old tunes over Such as shellbacks used to know In the good old China tea tray Many, many a year ago One more at the halyards There'll be one more on the yard Fisting down from the thundering choruses When they're frosted good and hard One more Italian on the full brakes When the waist neck deep and fall One more hand to sweat the tonsils up Sheets again And we're back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So that was the original recording of Trifina's Extra Hand that we did way, way, way back in the last century. I asked William, how does it sound? And he says, young. young. <laughs> <laughs> how do you like my pajama top? Isn't it chic? Are you getting it? I'm it's the the cat's pajamas. Cat's pajamas. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm reaching. I, I perch, have... perch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a perch in cat's pajamas it makes everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope that you had a refreshing um, intermission. <clears throat> we certainly did. Uh, Didn't get any coffee, though. No, we were too busy tuning, tuning and retuning, and tuning again. <clears throat> we want to do uh, another... Uh, well, actually, is this the first... Yeah, this is the first Janie Manili song that we're doing tonight. Um, yeah, how about that? We love Janie Manili's songs. Um, she wrote this one about a <clears throat> the, the, the lighthouse keeper's extra hand. <laughs> could have been called because it's this is a, a <clears throat> reportedly true story of um, one uh, Thomas Steinheis who uh, ran a, a, the the lighthouse, kept the lighthouse at seven foot knoll on the uh, coast of Maryland. 
and um, out on the shore. And um, he uh, ended up, he actually was a big hero because of this. Yeah. And, uh, and there was one more at the halyards and one more. All that sort of thing there. One more to sing the choruses. And <laughs> but it wasn't choruses. <laughs> it's courses, as in well, courses see, of a line. Anyway. See, we learn things as we age. Um, Yes, I learned that you don't want to have a cat nose on your face when you've got a runny nose. <laughs> it's really tricky to mop up. <laughs> That's and, smearing and leaves your marks nose. on your hanky is a, I mean, not the usual Not one. the usual. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are we Ooh, doing this? Here we are. There's a very, very nice uh, chorus in this, and then the last one is not a chorus, so there you go. We'll see. See how it goes. <clears throat> the story of Thomas Steineis. Thomas Steineis, lighthouse keeper, kept his vigil on the shore, warning ships away from danger, well away from seven foot knoll. Thomas Steinheis, he lay sleeping, storm wind tearing the night apart. Came a hand upon his shoulder, words enough to chill his heart. Wake up, wake up, the storm is raining. Thinking fast, wake up, wake up, the storms are raging, winds do rise, the waves do roll, my poor souls all cry in heaven, wrecked upon seven foot no. Thomas Steinheis launched his lifeboat. He battled through that raging tide until he reached those hapless crewmen clinging to the tugboat side. Well, first came one and then another.
die gehst ein Eisenmetall for the saving of his fellow man Stein heißt said the foremost honor belongs unto a ghostly hand wake up wake up when storms are raging a spectral hand may touch your soul keep the words of Thomas Five lives on seven foot no Five lives on seven foot no Five lives on seven foot no Steinheiß. Ah. Oh, this is uh, this will be interesting. <clears throat> it really will <laughs> for us. Maybe well, it'll be interesting for you too. I think some of you are <clears throat> familiar with this melody. Well, what we're trying to do here is a variation on. Uh, on Rainer Dine. The song about a weir fox. Boy, dee dee. Boy, dee dee. And the whole thing about weir animals, you know, I mean, you know, they had the main drag, you know, the, the A-list ones are the weir wolves for sure. Oh yeah, they're the yeah. most famous. But there are weir foxes. But yeah, weir foxes <laughs> uh, apparently around. and Weir horses. Weir, weir horses with big pointy teeth. Uh, and, uh, all horses have big pointy teeth okay. if you look closely enough. Weir squirrels. Weir, <laughs> weir mice. Weir, that would be a weir, really weir, bad curse to have on you. <laughs> the curse of the weir mice. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny pointy teeth. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, that, well, that's the thing about these, these weird creatures. I mean, think, you have to sympathize with them because um, they're, they're, they're changing rapidly. One of the big changes is that they get big pointy teeth. Yes. And then the teeth kind of apparently just like retract and get, you know, it's gotta non pointy. It's got to be uncomfortable. And then again, you know, next time, oh, the teeth are pointy. It's like they must be really uncomfortable and, and very, very, very you know, sensitive to pain. So uh, we want to... you know, um, ice cream. We want to be uh, sympathetic to all the weird creatures, especially... Okay, I'll be even more sympathetic if I tune this a little bit more. <laughs> Thanks for all the texts, and I'm sorry I can't answer to your messages on the chat, but um, I'll go through it later on and see what I can do about anything. But you guys all know us pretty well, so if somebody has a question... You know, you could give them my hurdy-gurdy spiel or tell them my jokes. I have almost four of them now. And in the meantime, we'll do this song. With a bit of luck. <clears throat> <clears throat> you're done because I have to press this little button here. Okay. Are you ready? Oh. Yep. Huzzah. <laughs> One evening as I ramble among the springing time I overheard a young woman converse with rain the dying. She was off to visit grandma who lived deep in the wood and she told Old Rain a dying her name was 
Papa's riding hyphen hood. He said, I am Paul Rainer. Would she like a glass of wine? She thought he said Bert Reynolds, and she straightway did decline. And who would blip? She marveled at his smile and said His teeth were strong and fine And he told Miss Riding Hyphen Hood I owe it all to Sensodyne And she ran off to her granny Crying, I must not be late While he rambled about fluoride And potassium Barker for that. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're right. We should be getting money for that. <laughs> or we'll probably be charged for using it. I don't know. Actually, we especially <clears throat> like that song by that Les Barker parody because um, because uh, we actually had suggested it to Les once when, when we realized, you know, there's some products over in the UK that are not familiar over here and vice versa, but every once in a while you find one that it's like, oh, it's the same. Um, same name in both places. Like here it's Ole, and over there it's Yule. Yeah, but. and uh, what is it? Uh, oh, and we have Vicks VapoRub, and they have Vic VapoRub. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And, um, and anyhow, so they had, oh, they have Sensodyne over here. So he's like, oh, that would probably make a great parody somehow to turn it into a Reynardine is Sensodyne. And so we had suggested it to... Well, you mentioned uh, it to Les. Les. I think we had seen him at a, at a festival. And he's like, yeah. oh. oh. And really two part. minutes later. <laughs> 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 anyway. Anyways. If you don't know Les Barker... Look him up. He's Should. awesome. Yes. Yeah, he is. He's an amazing, amazing poet. And <laughs> extremely funny. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to run uh, one more of our, our existing uh, videos that we made. Again, just uh, uh, an encore presentation because uh, because I really like this one, and and uh, I. And they take it. him 
hours of back-breaking labor. I know. It's awful. He suffers. Poor so. me. Look at this. Oh, my poor little girl. Enough to make a guy take up piracy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So run, run the clip, Eugene. <laughs> okay. Here you go. We'll be back. I dreamed a dream the other night. Lowlands. Lowlands away, my John My love, she came All dressed in white My lowlands away She came to me at my bedside Lowlands, lowlands away, my John A red rose in hand A weeping bride My song for me since I lived in the lowlands. <laughs> We're back, I guess. I hope that was the end of the song. Did I cut the end of the song? Up? I hope not. So, William changed the overall volume just a little bit. Thanks so much, you guys, for uh, yeah, helping us out. Yeah, that's, 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 that's weird, because we haven't done anything to, to change anything. Yeah, so I thought maybe we just got a little loud during the last song. Yeah, that'd be it. Um, um, so, right now, how's it sound? I've got my little phone here so I can see your responses. Of course, there's a delay. So That's okay. La, 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 la. Um, 
but uh, we'll, we'll try, hoping that it's okay. I'm, uh, I'm just not sure everything looks like it's running properly. We're yeah. not getting any overload signals or anything, so. But thanks for telling us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And David uh, Carson, really, really appreciate it. And then I, oh, still very buzzy, says Barb. Still really bad. And I didn't do it, says Cheryl. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no, we don't know what to do. Our sound is haunted. That's also possible. Let me check cores as Planet Lover. Uh, cores, we haven't touched anything. We really haven't touched anything. I think the mics are clipping. Pamela's is distortion with three red exclamation points. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, what happened? Like a radio off station, says David. Wow. Yeah. Felicia has a really weird voice. Well, we knew that, right? JP says, not workable. Oh, shoot. Wow, well, isn't that weird? That just happens to us sometimes. Oh, uh, man. So. Restart your interface? That would take, like, forever. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea, though. I mean, whatever. You know, what I'm going to do is um, let's put on another um, uh, another video and see if we can get something, uh, find out what's going on, okay? It does sound creepy at least. Well, that's well, good. That's good. Yeah. We're going to put a video on and we're going to try and sort this out. Yes, you're absolutely right, Mark. Big Liz haunts the green briar swamp Way down deep in the cold and damp She's something big and not quite dead And makes the hair stand up on a bald man's head Down in the swamp where the wild things grow She'll rise up, riled up and ready to go The biggest whatever, whatever it is Folks around here just call it Big Liz. Big Liz. Boozy ah, 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 ah. Parks headed home one night with a bottle in his hand, all liquored up tight. He passed that swamp, and what did he see? It was old Big Lizzie out on a spree. Big Liz says boozy, well it's a howdy do to waste corn liquor on a cuss like you. I swap that bottle for a little kiss. Oh, boozy ain't touched no liquor since. I down in the swamp where the wild things grow She'll rise up, riled up and ready to go The biggest whatever, whatever it is The folks around here just call her Big Liz Big Liz ah. Old Judge Phipps Fair and square, he'd hang a man just to see him stare. He said he'd bring old Big Liz back. And so he went to the swamp so as to set a trap. But Liz says, Judge, I'll make you a bet that you can't hang me because I got no neck. She swung her head for him to see. Now he's a preacher down in Salisbury Ah, uh, down in the swamp where the wild things grow She'll rise up, riled up and ready to go The biggest whatever, whatever it is The folks around here just call her Big Liz Well, he 
took a walk right to the heart of the Greenbrier Swamp. He saw Big Lizzie up and kissed her. Says, I thought you was my sister. So Liz says, Johnny, if you'll marry me, I'll show you where my gold might be. Johnny says, not on your life. Cause already got me a zombie wife. Down in the swamp where the wild things grow, she'll rise up, riled up and ready to go. The biggest whatever, whatever it is. And folks around here just call her Big Liz. The green briar swamp Way down deep in the cold and damp She's something big and not quite dead it Makes your hair stand up on a bald man's head Well, you don't want me to know how no way And the folks that has, has plenty to say About what happens on a cold dark night and the ghost that'll get you if you ain't done right Down in the swamp where the wild things grow She'll rise up, riled up and ready to go The biggest whatever, whatever it is And folks around here just call her Big Liz Is it better? Is it any better? Oh, God. <laughs> Barb, I'm glad you liked the video. And Barb says, this video is hysterical. <laughs> Annie Scarborough called it William, uh, William and the Feliciettes, which I thought was adorable. <laughs> that, that was uh, another Janie Manili song, Big Liz, in case you hadn't heard it before. But we're still kind of waiting to see um, if we... Oh, Mark says yes. Oh, that's good to hear. Okay, then. Wow. Well, let's just try uh, moving along. Too scary. Okay, I'm going to put this silly device down and pick up my other silly device. We apologize for that. We will try to figure out what started that and, and make sure that we can yeah. prevent that from happening Absolutely. in the future. William restarted GarageBand, and that seems to have done the trick. We've been um, running that through to do audio processing, and normally it just runs... Seamlessly, yep. so. Um, <clears throat> well, we'll do another new song for you. This is um, <clears throat> this is a, kind of a variation on the um, <clears throat> Bay of Biscay uh, ver song that we did in the first set. Uh, it's called Mary's Dream, and it's um, it's. We got it, actually, uh, Andrew Calhoun sent us the broadside of this song and uh, a long time ago when Felicia was looking for particularly sad songs. Yeah, and, um, and it, it is sad. It turned out to be this wonderful ghostly visitation song and uh, uh, we decided this would be the perfect time to, to work it up. And we've linked it with a song, a tune, that we got from the wonderful Chris Rowe. Who is an amazing singer and, and uh, player. She She's recorded wonderful. this on her, um, on her OCD, the, uh, Around for the Company, A Health for the Company, Round for the Company. Round for um, the Company, yeah. Well worth buying. It's um, just an awesome album. Beautiful tunes and songs. And the tune is called The Despairing Lover, and the song is called Mary's Dream, with a, a <clears> bit of luck. Yeah, wish us luck. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Whoa, now I'm all anxious. I'm worried. <clears throat> also, I don't know this tune very well yet. Yeah. Two, three, and... 
fear Thyself prepare We soon shall meet Upon that shore Where love is free From doubt and care And thou and I Shall part no more Loud crowed the cock The shadow fled No more of Sandy Could she see But soft the passing Spirit said Sweet Mary weep no more for me Sweet Mary weep no more for me Mwahaha <laughs> Mary's dream <clears throat> it dates back to the 1700s. Apparently it crossed over the ocean and settled in Maine. And in the 1800s, the song became quite popular and, and it was localized um, where the, uh, the river, who is it, how did they do it? It was very, it was very clever. They changed the, the place names to make them, though the, instead of the River D, it was the River Deep. And I just, I just love that sort of stuff. Um, how are we doing on time? Oh, here we go. I guess we have as much time as we want. Are, people, are you getting tired yet? You want, oh, where'd Felice go? She's, she's vanished. <clears throat> let's, um, let's do another uh, quick video, and then we'll be back with another song, and then we'll say goodbye. How's that for a deal? Okay? This is uh, our dear friend Alice Winship's song, Ghost ghost squid and ghost squids are real and scary. Some dread the sight of the phantom light that lures to a rocky shore. Some are afraid of a pirate raid and the big gun's deadly roar. My fate is worse, for I've been cursed by Ghost Squid. Ghost Squid. They haunt my dreams and I can't sleep. Ghost Squid. Those slimy devils of the deep. Their psychic ink has fogged my brain The thoughts I have are quite insane If I do wrong, it's them to blame Those ghost squid Ghost squid Some fear the ship on an endless trip the Flying Dutchman's doom One glimpse of those pale and tattered sails And you're bound for a watery tomb My fate is worse For I've been cursed by Ghost Squid Ghost Squid They haunt my dreams and I can't sleep Ghost Squid Those slimy devils of the deep their psychic ink has fogged my brain The thoughts I have are quite insane If I do wrong, it's them to blame Those ghost squid Ghost squid Some shake and quail when they hear the tale of that boot on the final shore The ferryman old and the river cold And you never come back no more My fate is worse For I've been cursed by ghost squid Ghost squid They haunt my dreams and I can't sleep Ghost squid Those slimy devils of the deep 
Their psychic ink has fogged my brain The thoughts I have are quite insane If I do wrong, it's them to blame Those ghosts weird And you think I'm daft, but your laugh will turn to pain When you see black mist and you feel the twist of tentacles in your brain Your fate's the worst, you've all been cursed by Ghost Squid Ghost Squid They haunt my dreams and I can't sleep Ghost Squid Those slimy devils of the deep Psychic ink has fogged my brain The thoughts I have are quite insane If I do wrong, it's them to blame Those ghosts weird They are my dreams and I can't sleep Ghosts weird The slimy devils of the deep Their psychic ink has fogged my brain The thoughts I have are quite insane If I do wrong, it's them to blame Those ghosts Well, we're going to do one more song and get the hell out of here before anything else screws up. <laughs> Thanks for being so patient, everybody. We've had a really good time playing for you. And uh... <clears throat> um, There's a whole body of, 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 of knowledge in academia about the crossover between <clears throat> Cowboy songs and sailor songs. Uh, Stuart Frank wrote a paper on it, I think. Yeah, he did. Uh, drawing uh, direct relations from songs of sailors who had, uh, whalers and sailors who had gone to sea, came back, said, enough of this stuff. I'm going, I'm marching inland. And, uh, <laughs> and went, ended up in Texas and, uh, and places like that and became uh, cowboys. And uh, I think this is, uh, this ancient old, uh, traditional song is proof that that, uh, that sort of thing really did happen. So we'll give you a song from the whaling tradition. Oh, well, second mate, he walked the deck one dark and windy day. Upon the rail he rested while the ship sailed on her way When all at once a pot of red-eyed whalefish did he see Plowing through the clouds and wind High above the stormy sea Their eyes were made of fire and their flukes like shining steel Even to the air, their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they shot across the sky. For he saw some whale boats trailing, and he heard the mournful cry. Fixed on irons firmly set They're speeding right behind them whales But they ain't caught them yet 
Because they're caught and told forever Across that sea above the sky In ghostly whale boats breathing You can hear them haunted cry on by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell, whaling ain't the game. So sailor, change your ways today, or with us you will dwell on this Nantucket sleigh ride. Straight across the skies to hell. today everybody we had a great time playing for you and with each yes. other here sorry for the uh, <clears throat> uh technical different I mean, it just wouldn't be one of these live streams i guess if something didn't fuck up I yeah don't know right is, so. yeah there it is um, it is a thing anyhow we're we were glad to kind of see you again um, yeah uh, thanks for all the <laughs> comments and thanks to the people who texted me directly and and yes we really, so really appreciate really, it really appreciate it um, we don't know otherwise so we're going to be coming up and doing a Winter's Return concert with um, Tanya Oplin and Mike Freeman Yay! coming up. Uh, we've been thinking about the, you know, usually we do a, a November concert for, uh, of uh, Disasters at Sea, and we might just postpone that one off to maybe January because uh, we've just been getting crazy busy and it's, uh, it's tricky to, to handle it all right here. Yeah, it is. Um, but anyhow, uh, we will keep in touch. If you aren't on our mailing list, how the hell did you know about this? Um, yeah, I'm, would be, I'd be interested to know, actually. <laughs> uh, join, uh, join up on that, if you can, on our website. Um, uh, anybody who made contributions, thank you sincerely ah, from our hearts. You eat so well because of you. Thank you. Um, and what can I say? I hope, you, I hope we see you again sometime yeah. soon. Thank you. I hope you have a great, fantastically wonderful uh, Halloween. Um, Eat Give lots the kids of candy. extra candy for me because we always buy candy except for this year, which means that this will be the year that someone shows, shows up to up our door. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, we love you guys. Thanks again. Take care. Bye. Bye. Let's put the intro there. <laughs>